If I draw a triangle in the complex plane with one side of length 1 and the other of length i, what is the length of the last side then? Well, from the Pythagorean theorem, we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Applying this to our triangle, we have 1 squared plus i squared equals x squared. We can quickly simplify this. 1 squared just becomes 1, and i squared becomes minus 1. Wait. This would mean that we have 1 minus 1. So x squared equals 0. That would mean x is also equal to 0. Obviously, this cannot be right. So what went wrong? The answer is actually quite simple. Let's first of all draw the triangle again, but this time we'll form it from three points in the complex grid. In this approach, we'll use vectors to find the lengths. For the first side, we can form the vector by subtracting the points that bound the vector. We can therefore write 2 plus 1i minus 1 plus 1i. This becomes 2 minus 1, which just results in 1. The vector in the complex plane is therefore 1 plus 0i, as this vector has no imaginary part. We can now do the same for the other side. We get 1 plus 2i minus 1 plus 1i. And here, we end up with 1i, giving the complex vector 0 plus 1i. Now we can compute the length of these vectors. When we have a complex vector of the form a plus bi, we can compute the length as the square root of a squared plus b squared. Let's plug in our two vectors. The first vector just becomes the square root of 1 squared, which equals 1. For the second vector, we also get the square root of 1 squared equaling 1. And we now can see that both lengths are just 1, which therefore makes x equal the square root of 2. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.